this is a simple problem of uh, label order traversal uh, only difference is that instead of traversing from root that is 5 3 6 and 2 4 we will traverse in the opposite order or at least uh, we will return the result in the opposite order so here we will return as 2 4 which is, which is at the last level then 3 6 and finally root that is 5 so these same color nodes will be printed together in a in a list or a vector and finally it will be a vector of vectors so how we can do that so we will again follow a breadth first search approach which is generally used for level order traversals you can use uh, dfs also but this is much more simpler so what we will do we will uh, create a queue and insert root into it so 5 is inserted now while q is not empty we will pop it that is n so we popped it q dot pop and what we will do we will see what is the size of uh, q before popping let's add the size q dot size so we know that uh, these elements are at a given level so initially we have just one so we know that at the first level there will be just one node so we will run a loop for i equal to 0 to size minus 1 we will insert everything into a vector so let's call it nodes this is not the global or result vector result is somewhere here and it's a vector of vectors this is local vector for one level or you can call it level nodes so we will do nodes dot pushback or insert whatever is the function available this popped node or its value rather this is a tree node type and inside tree node we have a value of type int and two more tree nodes which will denote left and right so we insert its value into this vector so it will insert all the nodes at a given level and finally after this we will insert it into result again push back or append or insert whatever is available or, or add and finally we will return reverse of result so if you are inserting in the beginning you don't need to reverse but if you are inserting in the back then reverse it so let's run through this example so we have this 5 3 6 and then we have 2 and 4 so 5 is inserted into q so q is now 5 it's not empty so we will pop 5 and we have a nodes vector which is empty so we insert into it 5 and here the size is 1 so we will do it one time before popping we need to see the size and then pop that many times and for every popped insert its left and right into the queue so queue becomes 5 is popped so 3 and 6 is inserted now again we will see if it's not empty this one level is complete now size is 2 so we will pop 2 times repeat 2 times n equal to q dot pop which is 3 and put its left and right into the queue that is 2 and 4 and this 3 is popped so we have done it one time next again pop one more element that is 6 so this is popped and its left and right are null so we will not insert it 
now this second level is done and in this nodes we have inserted these values whichever we have popped 3 6 so here in the global result it was empty initially then it become this value 5 then we insert this value 3 6 and now this level is complete it before starting this level size was 2 so we pop it two times and whatever element was popped insert it into this now we start the next level now again q is not empty then what is the size size is again 2 so we will pop it two times and here again we have a new nodes list so first popped element will be 2 it's left and right are null so nothing will be pushed 2 comes here then next we pop 4 so n is 4 again no left and right so we will not add anything and we insert this into the list result list so result is now 5 3 6 and then we insert this new level 2 4 and now the queue becomes empty everything that was inserted has been popped so we return this list in the reverse order if you are already inserting in the beginning then it would have been 5 and before that we insert 3 6 and then before that 2 4 so if we reverse it we get 2 4 3 6 and 5 this should be the answer so let's write the code for this and we will do it in C++, Java and Python all three so one example is given here 15.7 is the last level so it comes first then 9.20 and finally the root that is 3 if root is null that is there is no node in this tree then return this empty result else create a queue of tree node pointer this is this is the standard breadth for search algorithm here So we will do it n times so first calculate the size so n is uh, q dot size so this is the levels node at, uh, nodes at a given level and we now know its size its n so better create a vector of that size beforehand So we pop the pop the elements n times and then nodes i equal to node val and then what we have to do we have to check if left or right are present here so if left is there push the left into the queue if right is there push the right into the queue and finally here in the result we push back this nodes vector and finally we will reverse this result 
since here we are traversing from beginning we have inserting in the end so this will be top to down here we have to return bottom to up in decreasing order of levels and this matches with expected answer so let's submit and the solution is accepted and we are here let's try one more time Now let's uh, try this in Java. So this poll will return as well as pop the element we don't need to add pop here and uh, notes dot val so we need to add to it and then if left is not null so we will insert in the beginning so that we don't need to reverse it and it works in java let's submit and the solution is accepted and here also it's around 2 millisecond so most of the solutions are concentrated in this range and it's a low time so you can expect a variation here finally we will write it in python 3 so here the code will be much cleaner much less code or we are not using this in anywhere else so
and the python solution is also accepted